Hey there, my friend. Today, we're diving into a topic that so many people in their 40s, 50s, and beyond struggle with, how to boost your metabolism. If you've been feeling like your metabolism just isn't what it used to be, and no matter what you do, the weight feels more stubborn and energy levels are harder to maintain, this video is for you. I've got 10 simple, effective tips that will help you kickstart your metabolism and get back to feeling your best. So stick around and let's get into it. One, eat more protein. All right, tip number one is something you've probably heard before, but it's fundamental for a reason. Eat more protein. And I mean at every single meal. Here's why it works. When you eat protein, your body needs to work extra hard to digest it, and that means burning calories. In fact, about 30% of the calories in protein are burned during digestion. So, if you're having 200 calories worth of chicken breast, your body is actually spending around 60 calories just breaking it down. It's called the thermic effect of food, and it's like giving your metabolism a little workout each time you eat. Plus, Protein keeps you full longer, which means fewer cravings later in the day. A balanced plate is key. I always recommend filling half your plate with veggies, a quarter with a great source of protein, and the remaining quarter with some healthy fats or carbs. It's simple, it's effective, and it works. Two, drink more water, especially cold water. Moving on to tip number two, drink more water, especially cold water. Water is life, literally. But here's something really cool, pun intended. Drinking cold water can actually boost your metabolism temporarily. See, when you drink cold water, your body needs to work to bring that water to body temperature. This process burns calories, giving your metabolism a little boost. I recommend starting your day with 20 to 30 ounces of water, Bonus points if it's cold. Not only does it wake you up, but it jumpstarts your body's processes, getting everything in motion after a good night's sleep. You can also add a pinch of salt to help with trace minerals. Hydration on a whole new level. And if you're like me and love efficiency, this is a super simple habit with big payoffs. Three, high intensity workouts. Tip number three is all about exercise and not just any exercise. I'm talking about high-intensity workouts. You've probably seen people in the gym just walking on a treadmill at a slow pace for 45 minutes. That's great for heart health, but if you want to crank up your metabolism, it's time to add in some intensity. This could be sprints, metabolic resistance training, MRT, or even just exercises that combine cardio and strength. High-intensity interval training hit and MRT are incredible because they don't just burn calories while you're working out. They keep your metabolism elevated for hours afterward. Imagine your body as a fire. Regular cardio is like adding little sticks. It burns but doesn't last. High intensity exercise is like adding big logs. It burns longer and keeps things hot. So if you can, incorporate three sessions of high intensity exercise per week and watch how your body responds. Four, lift heavy things. Now, tip number four, lift heavy things. I don't mean you need to go out and start lifting huge weights, but adding resistance training into your routine is a game changer for your metabolism. Muscle is very metabolically active, which means it burns more calories even when you're just sitting around. The more muscle you have, the more calories your body burns at rest. This is especially important as we get older and our muscle mass naturally declines. By lifting weights or using resistance bands, you can maintain and even build muscle, which helps keep your metabolism running higher. Plus, strength training just makes life easier. You can carry your groceries, pick up your kids or grandkids and feel stronger overall. Five, prioritize quality sleep. Tip number five is one of the most overlooked, get great sleep. Sleep is when your body repairs itself, balances hormones, and resets your metabolism for the next day. If you're not sleeping well, your metabolism suffers. Lack of sleep makes you insulin resistant, 
which makes it harder to burn fat. It also increases hunger hormones and decreases the hormones that make you feel full. Basically, poor sleep makes you hungrier and slows down your metabolism. Two things you definitely don't want if you're trying to lose weight. So, aim for seven to eight hours of quality sleep each night and watch how much easier it becomes to manage your weight and feel energized. Six, drink green tea and coffee. Tip number six, drink green tea and coffee. Both of these beverages have been shown to boost metabolism. Green tea contains compounds called catechins, which help increase fat burning. And coffee, well, it's not just about waking you up in the morning. The caffeine in coffee can actually boost your metabolic rate by up to 11%. Just remember, it's what you put in your tea or coffee that matters. Skip the sugar and heavy creamers. Instead, try using a bit of stevia or even add some protein powder to your coffee, something our members love to do. It turns your morning coffee into a protein-packed, metabolism-boosting powerhouse. 7. Fuel up with MCTs. Next up, tip number 7. Get some MCTs in your diet. Medium-chain triglycerides are a type of fat that your body loves to use for energy. They're commonly found in coconut oil, and they're unique because they don't get stored as fat as easily as other fats do. Instead, they're quickly converted into energy, and they can boost your metabolism in the process. One of my favorite ways to use MCTs is to add a tablespoon of MCT oil into my morning coffee. It gives a quick energy boost, and studies have shown that MCTs can increase metabolism more than other types of fats. Eight, the power of fidgeting. Tip number eight is a bit unexpected, fidget more. Yep, those people who can't sit still, tapping their foot or shifting in their seat are actually burning a significant number of calories throughout the day. It's called non-exercise activity thermogenesis NEAT, and it's all the little movements we do that aren't formal exercise. Fidgeting can burn anywhere from 100 to 800 extra calories a day. So don't be afraid to move even if you're just tapping your foot while sitting at your desk. Nine, cold exposure. Tip number nine, embrace the cold. Cold exposure is another way to kickstart your metabolism. When you expose your body to cold, it has to work to maintain your core temperature. This process burns calories and it also activates brown fat a type of fat that burns energy to create heat. An easy way to do this is by taking cold showers. Start by ending your regular shower with one or two minutes of cold water. It's invigorating, it wakes you up, and it helps boost your metabolism. Plus, it's a great mental challenge that builds resilience. Ten, walk after meals. And finally, tip number ten, Take a walk after meals. This isn't about burning a ton of calories. Instead, it's about improving your metabolic health. Walking after a meal helps to stabilize your blood sugar, improve digestion, and promote circulation. It's a small, simple habit that has a big impact on how your body processes food. Even just 10 to 15 minutes of walking can make a big difference, especially after a larger meal. Plus. It's a great time to clear your mind and enjoy a little movement in your day. All right, my friends, those are my 10 tips to boost your metabolism after 40. Remember, these aren't about quick fixes, but about building sustainable habits that give you more energy, help you lose weight, and make you feel incredible. Pick a couple of these tips to start with,